خلیفہ کے ہم ہیں خلیفہ ہمارا وہ دل ہے ہمارا آقا ہمارا 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 خلیفہ ہمارا وہ دل ہے ہمارا آقا ہمارا وہ دل ہے ہمارا آقا ہمارا دیکھو خدا نے ایک جہاں کو جھکا دیا گم نام پا کے شہر عالم بنا دیا When this city, Zion, just north of Chicago, was established in the year 1900, its founder claimed that Zion would wipe out all of Islam. A hundred years on, Islam is making a home in the very heart of this city. On the evening of Monday 26th of September 2022, by the grace of Allah the Almighty, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V, Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Asrih al-Aziz, arrived at Chicago airport for a tour of the United States of America. This historic visit of Hazrat Khalifatul Masih is his first visit abroad since the start of the COVID pandemic. From the airport, as Hazu's entourage left for Zion, more than a thousand Ahmadi Muslims who had gathered at the Fathe Azim Mosque eagerly awaited Hazu's arrival. Hazur then led the Maghrib and Isha prayers. Serving as a shining beacon from the center of Zion, the Fathe Azim Mosque was to be inaugurated by the hands of Hazrat Khalifatul Masih, the fifth successor of the promised Messiah. It was Alexander Dowie's animosity towards Islam and abuse of its holy founder that stirred the most devoted servant of the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that being Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed السلام, who immediately rose to the defense of Islam. The promised Messiah السلام, warned Dawi to desist, but he did not heed this warning. Then under the command of Allah the Almighty, the promised Messiah السلام, challenged Dawi to a mubahila, a prayer duel, that whichever of them was a liar should perish in the lifetime of the other. Just as prophesied, Dawi, who was 12 years younger than the promised Messiah السلام, and had been seemingly at the peak of his powers, was suddenly overcome by paralysis and passed away in 1907, during the lifetime of the promised Messiah السلام. His death fulfilled a prophecy which the promised Messiah under divine guidance declared to be a Fathe Azim, 
meaning a great victory. This was a grand sign not only for those residing in India, rather it was witnessed by millions across the entire Western world and was a great sign of the truth of the man chosen by God, the promised Messiah and Mahdi As Hazu unveiled the plaque, all those in attendance raised slogans of the majesty of Allah the Almighty. Prior to the unveiling of the plaque, Hazur visited an exhibition at the mosque about the prophecy of the promised Messiah Salam, that also houses many of the publications that reported all the events of the Mubahila challenge. <laughs> और बहुत बहुत 40 मील की प्लान बनाई थी दिसंबर 31st 1899 फिर डोई ने एक मूवमेंट शुरू की है 100,000 लोगों उसका नेट वर्थ वाज 800 मिलियन डॉलर्स इन टुडेज वैल्यू अजूर जब फतेह अजीम का नाम अगर 160 बारों ने दिया यूएस पेपर्स ने तब के 160 हैं वर्ल्ड वाइड जी इसमें ये है कि कितने क्लिपिंग्स हैं Boston Public Library को contact किया है तो उन्होंने इजाजत लिए कि original उनके पास था तो उन्होंने the certification beja to ye original clipping hai unhone kaha ke ye exactly as it appeared in the newspaper ye kaim hai to unhone kaha ke this is the authentic certified copy yahan pe jo hai ye tasveer hai 1894 jo clips dekhi gaye log kehte hain ki nahi hua hai this is visual proof ki ye 1894 original edition hai aur ye as ji clip ki clip 1895 Time magazine जो है उसका जो original नाम था वो literary digest था ये original first edition मिली है paper और ये हजरत मुसीम अल्लाह का स्वाम की photo उन्होंने उस वक्त तक खेंची हमने हमने collector से नहीं है library से नहीं मिले नहीं library से भी नहीं मिले collector से मिले ये 115 साल पुराना तो अखबार है Hazur also laid the foundation stone for the minaret that is to be built at the mosque and inspected the entire mosque complex. The premises cover an area of 13,000 square feet. The main prayer hall can house 150 worshippers, while 600 can be accommodated in the entire building. <laughs> Hazrat Khalifatul Masil Khamis, Inni Maka. Later in the day, a renowned media outlet, Religion News Service, had the opportunity to interview Hazur. The journalist asked Hazur why was it important for Hazur to be here for the inauguration of the mosque. Wherever we open the mosque, normally the our communities in that country. They asked me if it's possible I should come there to open the mosque. So in Germany, in the UK, or elsewhere, I normally used to travel before COVID to open the mosque. But uh, here, there's one thing special, as you have seen from the exhibition. Yeah. 
So that is also one of the causes. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, as I have said, I normally open the mosque and meet my community members there. In this way, they become encouraged. And I advise them, then what is the purpose of the mosque? The purpose of our life, according to our belief and religion, is to worship Allah. So mosques are made for this purpose. And when I remind them, they should remember not only be happy because of construction of the mosque, but actually realize what the purpose of their life is. So in this way, they become encouraged, they are charged, and then they change themselves and realize what their, their duties are. The journalist asked what Hazu hopes the people will learn from the story of Alexander Dawi. He said, our work is to convey the message of Islam. Mm-hmm. Quran says there is no compulsion in religion. Mm-hmm. And it says that you cannot force anybody to change your religion. Mm-hmm. But keep on doing your work. Those who do not change their religion, at least they will realize that Islam teachings are actually those teachings which ask the person to live together amicably and discharge their duties they owe to each other. The founder of the Ahmadiyya community said, my purpose is to bring the people of the world before Allah, make them understand how to worship Allah. And why should they worship Allah? And they should bow before their creator. Secondly, purpose is to make the people realize their duties they owe to each other. Mm. They respect each other. They respect each other's religion. And this is what the Quran says. And this is what we believe. And this is what we practice. This is what we preach. Mm -hmm. The journalist went on to ask Kazur if there is still a role for organized religion in the world. And can religion be a voice for peace? You see, we say that the purpose of religion is not to scare anybody. As I have already told you, mm-hmm. there are two purposes for which the founder of the Ahmadiyya movement appeared. Mm-hmm. To revive the true teaching of Islam. Mm-hmm. And the basis of the two teachings are to make the people realize their duties they owe to their creator. Mm-hmm. And secondly to make them realize their duties they owe to their fellow beings. Mm -hmm. So if you know these two duties, then there's no need to fear us. Mm -hmm. We are not going to force. We preach. We do not say that you must accept, otherwise we shall do this or that. Mm -hmm. We are not that type of fanatic mullahs or miscreants who are disturbing the the, the peace of the society. Mm -hmm. We say we must live peacefully. Mm And we respect each other. Quran says that you must respect the religion of each other. It says that you should not even use any bad language against the idols of the idol worshippers mm. because they will, in retaliation, use the same language against Allah, the Almighty, your God. And that means you are going to be the cause of that language. So respect even those people and do not speak ill of any person, any deity of uh, any religion. Throughout the week, Ahmadi Muslims of the United States were blessed to spend time near their beloved Imam. Hundreds of Ahmadis had the opportunity of having private family mulaqats, whilst others were able to join in groups. मेरी जिंदगी का कुल सरमाया मेरे बच्चों की जिंदगी का कुल सरमाया इतनी शफकत इतनी शफकत मेरे पास इल्फाज नहीं कि मैं कैसे बयान करूं इतना नूर इतना नूर कि मेरा ईमान है कि ये वजूद इलाही वजूद है अल्लाह ने इस मुकाम पर फैज किया आज मैंने अपनी आंखों से देखी और आज मुझे ये पता चला हम कहते थे लेकिन आज ये पता चला कि मोहब्बत दो तरफा है एक तरफा नहीं है हजूर इज इज द क्लोजेस्ट पर्सन टू अलाउ ऑन अर्थ एंड टू बी अलाइन विद दैट पर्सन एंड टू बी मेकिंग प्रेयर्स बिहाइंड द खलीफा 
is uh, something that you know we were missing for so many years, and to finally be able to to do that and hear his uh, sweet, sweet carrot and um, his recitation is it was just um, heartwarming uh, just to be there today. Praying behind the door has been the only reason I've took I've taken this trip with, along with my family, taking time off from work, uh, kids with time off from school and college. Um, you know, just to be in his presence as much as possible. This is my first time seeing Hazur in person. I, I have seen Hazur, of course, on the TV, on MTA. We've been corresponding, I've been writing letters to Hazur, um, asking for guidance for, uh, on several issues, asking for prayers. And Hazur, Hazur has been writing to me, responding to, to you know, my questions and some of the concerns that I've had and also praying for me. And seeing that person, that figure that I've always yearned to see and be in his presence, seeing him for the first time in my life is, is, is an experience that is just hard to put into words. You know, it's, it's, it's just seeing your beloved, right? So all I can say really is just that it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's just warming to the heart. Exactly. <laughs> And these are my two older sons. Uh, this is uh, Imran Abdurrahman. So you have three sons? I have three sons. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. uh, and this is uh, Kesan Amarahman. Uh, he is going to be, he's 11 years old and he's 9 years old. Uh, and this is the first time that they have uh, ever been in your presence. So. Asha, come here, sons. on Thursday, the Association of Ahmadi Muslim Scientists from America had the honor of a mulaqat with Hazur Anwar. How many PhDs do you have uh, among these people? Do you, sir, we have uh, roughly 35 PhDs. And what is the total number of men? The total number of men is uh, 45. And women? 37. In uh, December 2019, Hazur gave an address at the Ahmadiyya um, uh, Muslim Research Association conference of the UK, and Huzur ended the address with the words, may we soon come to witness the dawn of a new Islamic age led by Ahmadi Muslims. And with that, we framed a mission, which was to lead the next Islamic golden age of science and technology. So it was almost four years ago, right? Ji. What have you achieved since then? The theme is 100 of the Salams. Yes. How many of the Salams we have produced? Huzur, we think we have you promising. You have potential. Ji. You have potential, but not yet tapped. That, that's correct, Huzur. We, I, we believe that they're on the cusp. Uh, many of them are in the top of their fields. I serve as the president of Amity Women Scientist Association of USA. When we studied carefully the addresses of Huzur Anwar, on the occasion of UNESCO and AMRA, we found that the Hazur's repeated directive to follow in the footsteps of Dr. Abdus Salam and those outstanding Muslim scholars many centuries ago, and Hazur Anwar has also reminded us that Hazrat Khalifa al Masih, Salis Ramullah had an ardent desire that at least 100 Ahmadi Muslims would soon follow in the footsteps of Dr. Abdus Salam and become eminent scientists by the turn of the centenary his, year. His, of his desire was that we should have 100 scientists by yeah, 1989. 1980. Yes. And now 89, 99, 9, 19, and 33 years have passed yeah. since then. Huh? The oh, I hope within the next few years we shall have at least one or two. Inshallah. Hmm? Inshallah. I mean, there are promising of the slums that we have captured and we will have steps to nurture them. Inshallah. No, Inshallah should now turn out to be mashallah. Hmm? So when you achieve your target, then you can say mashallah. Hmm?
I work in the field of electric vehicles on battery technology. By Allah's grace, I founded a company named One to glorify the unity of Allah and bring electric vehicles to the masses. Earlier this month, One announced a world's first in lithium ion cell performance with a new chemistry capable of 1,000 kilometers on a single charge, while costing less than commonly available lead acid batteries. I was previously guided by Hazur to work on technology for the masses. I humbly seek prayers that this technology will accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles globally, including in developing com countries. Jazakumala, please keep Have you been to Ghana to explore some more avenues? I, I have not been to Ghana. Do you think there's, there's any possibility of starting your business there? And in Ghana, there is supply of lithium and other materials that we are searching. So I think we should try to explore some more African countries. Okay, inshallah. Hmm? Jazakumallah. Because uh, you cannot just rely on one country. Yes, hmm? inshallah. Make proper feasibility plan and then move on. Inshallah. Jazakumullah Hazar. Salaam. Logo kese taraf ko zara bhi nazar na thi mere wujud ke bhi किसी को खबर न थे The city of Zion may have forgotten Dawi and his claims but the sign of the truth of the promised Messiah is now immortalized with the establishment of the Fath e Azim mosque with the Friday sermon the mosque was blessed to be inaugurated by Hazrat Khalifa al Masih the 5th ayyadullah taala bin Asrih al Aziz Ajab یہاں زائن کی مسجد کے استطاع کے لیے جمع ہے اللہ تعالیٰ نے جماعت احمدی امریکہ کو توفیق دی کہ اس مسجد کی تعمیر کرے اور اس شہر میں کرے جو جماعت کی تاریخ میں ایک خاص اہمیت رکھتا ہے دو دن پہلے جنرلیس نے مجھے سوال کیا کہ مسجد یہاں کے لیے اتنی اہم کیوں ہے تو مساجد تو ہمارے لیے ہر اہم ہوتی ہے میں نے اسے یہی کہا تھا تمام مساجد ہی ہمارے لیے اہم ہیں اس کا خیال تھا کہ صرف اس مسجد کے لیے خاص طور پر میں یہاں آیا ہوں میں نے کہا پہلے بھی ہم جاتا رہتا تھا مساجد کے استطاع کے لیے تو بہرحال اس کو میں نے کہا کہ اس مسجد کی اہمیت بھی ہے ایک اور وہ یہ ہے کہ اس شہر میں تعمیر ہوئی ہے یہ مسجد جو ایک مخالف اسلام کا بات کیا ہوا شہر ہے اور جن لوگوں کو تاریخ سے دلچسپی ہے وہ اس تاریخ کے جاننے کی کوشش کریں گے اور اس تاریخ کے بتا کے بتانے کے لیے کیونکہ جماعت کے علاوہ تو کوئی اس شہر کی تاریخ کو نہیں جانتا نہ ڈاوی کو جانتا ہے ایک نمائش کا اہتمام بھی جماعت نے کیا ہوا ہے جس سے اس تاریخ پر روشنی پڑتی ہے جو جماعت کے نزدیک اس شہر کی اہمیت ہے اور جن کو دلچسپی ہے وہ اس نمائش سے کچھ حد تک فائدہ بھی اٹھا سکتے ہیں شاید وہ اس بارے میں آرٹیکل بھی لکھے گی کل بہرحال جیسا کہ میں نے کہا اس شہر کی تاریخی اہمیت اور ایک نام نہاد دعوے دار اور اس کا حضرت مسیح محمد علیہ السلط السلام کے خلاف غلط زبان استعمال کرنا اور پھر اس کا خاتمہ ہونا اور اس شہر میں جماعت کا قائم ہونا اللہ تعالیٰ کا شکر ادا کرنے والا ہر احمدی کو بناتا ہے اور بنانا چاہیے